We're headed out to a really important event today. We're heading over to Decision America Tour with Franklin Graham. And we're gonna pay, pray for the United States, which our country needs a lot of prayer right now. We're kind of headed in a really bad direction and we need to pray. God tells us that if those who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, I will forgive their sin, and I will heal their land. Second Chronicles 7.14. So that is what we are gonna do today. All right, here we are at Decision America Tour. Just waiting for Franklin Graham to come out now. The crowd is huge already. There's a lot of people. Yeah? Yeah. We're here to pray. All these people, we're here to pray. So cool. Good afternoon. Thank you for being here today. You know, we're here today because we see that our nation is in trouble. We're in trouble spiritually, racially. We're in trouble economically. We're in trouble politically. And no political party is going to be able to turn this thing around. The only hope for our country, our only hope for this nation is Almighty God. Amen. The most important thing we can do today is to pray. God loves you, but we have a problem. And that problem is called sin. And the Bible says that we have all sinned, we've all come short of God's glory, His standard, and that the wages of sin is death. It's the penalty of sin is death. And sin has infected the entire human race. It's infected all of us. And the entire human race is under this death sentence from God because we have broken His laws. You were born into sin. But the Bible tells us that God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but shall have everlasting life. God sent His Son, Jesus Christ, from heaven to this earth on a rescue mission Thank to you. save us from our sins. And Jesus Christ took your sins. He took my sins and He went to the cross. Woo. He was nailed on that cross for your sins. Yeah. We deserve to be nailed to the cross. Yeah. We deserve to suffer death yeah. because we're the ones who are guilty. He wasn't guilty, right. but God sent His Son to take our guilt and shame and He went to the cross in your place and my place. He died on the cross. He was buried for our sins and on the third day, God raised His Son yeah. to life. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. If you're here today and you're not sure that your sins are forgiven, you say, well, Franklin, I think so. I'm not talking about thinking nothing. I'm talking about knowing it. Yeah. Are you confident? Are you sure? Yeah. If you're not sure, you can be sure right now and you can just pray this prayer with me. If you would like to have your sins forgiven, if you'd like to know that today, starting today, that God would give you a new life and a new beginning, you can have that right now, but you've got to be willing to accept it by faith. God is offering forgiveness. He's offering salvation, but you've got to be willing to accept it by faith. And if you'd like to pray this prayer right now, you just pray it wherever you are, and God will hear your prayer. He'll forgive your sin. He'll heal your heart. And He'll give you not only a new life and a new beginning started today, but He'll give you eternal life. Yes. And if you'd like to pray this prayer to confess your sins, and to receive Christ into your heart and into your life, you pray this prayer right now. Dear God, I'm a sinner. I'm sorry for my sins. Forgive me. I believe Jesus Christ is your son. I believe that he died for my sins. That you raised him to life. I would like to invite him to take control of my heart to take control of my life from this day forward. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless America. Thank you. Let's go back. Let's take this.
this country back for Almighty God and for His Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you very much. Yeah.